Hey, here we are midway through chapter one. So I want to do a quick review of our student learning map for chapter one. So the essential question we begin with says, hey, what is geometry? What are some basic figures, terms, and patterns we need to recognize? And the key learning is geometry helps us understand the position, size, and shape of everything. When we understand geometric patterns, we can find reasonable answers to many real world problems. Our first lesson, if you recall, is lesson one one. We went over that. Let me see if I can scroll, scroll up a little bit. Yep. Lesson one one, why is it important to identify patterns and use inductive reasoning? And the answer is when we see patterns, we can make reasonable conclusions. This is called inductive reasoning. We have our vocabulary down here. We have conjecture. We have counterexample and inductive reasoning. Then in lesson two, which we spent several days on, in lesson two, let's go with orange. Lesson one, two was about why is it important to be able to identify the location of points, lines, and planes. And the concept is using their location, we can draw accurate models and determine their characteristics. Lots of vocabulary we went over in this lesson. Coplanar, non-coplanar, collinear, non-collinear, line, line segment, point and ray. And then soon we will be starting lesson one, three. So let's go back to green. So lesson one, three is about postulates. Why are postulates important to the study of geometry? As it says below, postulates state facts that are accepted as true. They're used as a foundation to understanding how points, lines, and planes are related so that lesson will have postulate as a vocabulary. Then the final lesson, the fourth lesson in this chapter is actually lesson six from the textbook, which we are not going to hand out. We might use it if you're in the room. The lesson one six says, how are perimeter and area related? Which characteristics make them unique? And just a quick reminder, perimeter and area are measurements of a shape. They're both measurements. Perimeter is the distance around, but area tells how many square units cover. So you gotta know the difference between area and perimeter, what the formulas are, and how you label areas with square units, and perimeter is labeled with regular units. All right, that's a quick review of our chapter one student learning map.